What's up, geeks? Come on, don't be a view thief. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so I can keep the channel growing and keep these reviews coming. Man, I really need to finish this game. What's up geeks, we're here with Star Wars The Black Series GameStop exclusive gaming greats, Cal Kestis. Now you should know him as the protagonist from Jedi Fallen Order. If you haven't played that game, especially on the Xbox Series X, you need to jump on it because it is fab. Anyway, so it comes in the new art series box. So you know it's got that diagonal portrait on the side and all that nice artwork. If you're an inbox keeper and you don't let your figures free, you'll love this box. I'm about to rip it up. Cal Kestis. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order lets players evade the Empire's forces as Cal Kestis, a Padawan fugitive on a quest to complete his training and rebuild the fallen Jedi Order. This is one of the ones that you don't want to take out of the package. Yeah, until you do. In his cage! Alright, so he comes with a hood accessory, a glowing cube, forgive me, I don't know what that is, um, and the little robot that rolls around in the game, and another Star Wars cute little bunny rabbit thing. Forgive me, I googled the accessories, couldn't find the names of them, and uh, kind of gave up. And then he's got his blue lightsaber, then he's got his dual wield lightsaber. Alright, let's crack him open. Bunny thingy. Alright, we got dual wield saber here. Traditional lightsaber. If you want to go with the clandestine look, you can put his hood up. Just remove his head and swap it out for the hood that's down. And the tesseract. And we've got the incredibly cute Cosmic Fox Bunny. <laughs> Tell me his name in the comments. Please don't skewer me. And we've got Backpack Robot. And there he is. Now he's not buff, but he's bad. I'm digging him. And I'm really glad I was able to get him because I missed out on the first version of him. And he's a little bit pricey on eBay now. Last time I checked, he was going for between 60 and 70 bucks. Not trying to pay that. And I think this figure is improved compared to that one, just from what I've seen in pictures. But the colors are a little bit brighter, outfit's different, comes with more accessories. So it looks like a win-win. Lightness is pretty good. Won't say it's spot on, but it's decent. The hair should be more red than brown. Doesn't look like he did a face scan of the actor, but I could be wrong. Uh, profile from the side looks more like him. But from the front, uh, if you just handed me this figure, I wouldn't know that it was him. That being said, the face sculpt is neat and clean. A little bit glossy and shiny, not sure why. Hairline is straight. Go down his cowl. Paint looks good. Got silver on the buckle. Nice touch there. His bullets are actually painted silver instead of blending it with the belt. No deco on the arm. A little bit of deco on this arm. He's got some bullets there. They're painted as well. And he's got his wrist attire. It's painted. So they went the extra yard there to make sure everything was painted. Looking at his undergarments here. Got his belt, tools, and again the paint carries over. They did a good job with the deco here. They could have just painted everything the same color. I hate when they do that. Does this move? Nope. That's solid in there. There's a little weed pouch. And some silver and red paint there. Great details. Does his belt move? Nope. Sculpted onto the waist. Boots still look good. It's going to the mosh pit tonight, baby. So what that head do? 
360 all the way around, nice and smooth. Jedi tilt. Jedi tilt the other way. Staring straight into the force. Chin buried deep. I failed you, master. Looking up at the great Jedi's in the sky. Good range, good range. Back of the head looking up. Back of the head looking down. Not sure if you can tell the difference. Arms get up yay high, parallel to the shoulder. As far in and far back as they go. 360. Now, I can never figure out the rhyme or reason with these Black Series figures. Why sometimes they do a single joint elbow and sometimes they do double. Don't get it. Is there ever a reason to go single? Ninety degrees in. This poor range, he can't even get anywhere near his face. 360 at the elbow, 360 at the wrist. He's got a vertical hinge on this hand, but he can't really get a force push going. He will hold your hand though. Barely kissing the ring. The other hand has a horizontal hinge. But you don't get a lot of range out of it. But you do get your 360. See up under here is an abdominal rocker. Let's see what we get out of that. Oh, that's a pretty good lean there. Not very smooth though. You can feel the intermittent clicking and you can feel the intermittent clicking in there. What about the waist? No, nope. no pivot at the waist, but oh. I was going to say you get a 360, but you don't. That waist is locked. You get a 360 up here with the abdominal crunch, but nothing down here. I don't even know why they have that separation line there. Let's check the lean forward and the way back. All right, that's the lean forward, the abdominal crunch. Does not get any help from the waist. And leans back a little bit. Nothing crazy. Great lean forward at the thigh joints. Clear, kicking the door all day. Not a lot of backwards range. You got the thighs over there, get 360. Nothing at the calf. Double joint knee giving you crazy range. Look how close that is, there's not even a gap there. On Prancer, on Dancer. Great range on the feet, pointing up and down, moonwalking all day. Hee <laughs> hee. Ladies and gents, we got a rocker. Goes all the way around. Get that 360 action going on. I'm do glad you don't have to take the head off to exchange the hood. You can just rip the down one off and put this one on, but <laughs> it looks funky. Looks like it's a mushroom on top of his head. Now he does have a hole back here and both hoods have this peg right here that goes in there. So I'll try that, see if it looks any better. Yeah, nope. Still looks like he's on Fargo. He also has a second hole here. I think that's for the droid to hook into. Yep, he can take his little flat foot and slide it right in there. He peeks around from behind. I should have included an open palm hand for him to grip this cue. It's kind of silly here. You gotta try and balance it on top of his hand. What? Despite the single jointed elbows, he does look dope though. They should have included an aggressive head sculpt. Yes sir, don't mess with me. Do not mess with me. 
Yep, force is strong in this one. All right, so what do you think, geeks? I'm all in on this one. Uh, articulation, pretty good. The arms bother me, especially a Jedi swinging those lightsabers. You'd think you would have some double jointed elbows. Articulation on the bottom half is great. Paint deco's great. Attention details great. Accessories great. I'm digging him. As of this recording, he is sold out on GameStop's website, so you're probably gonna have to go through third party to get him. Hopefully they'll restock on him soon. I think he's a worthy addition to the collection, especially if you missed out on the first one. Let me know what you think. Sound off in the comments. You like him? Don't like him? Do you skip the Gamerverse figures? Is he not a real Jedi? Let me know. Make sure to do your boy a favor. Hit that thumbs up. Like this video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when I put out more Black Series videos. And best of all, share it with a friend. Help the channel grow. Thanks a lot for all the support, geeks. Till next time, geek out.